Hello again. So this is the third video I've made today. I did a comparison of the personal and compact regencies. Um, that's my compact regency. Um, I took the, I did have a little charm there. I took that off because it was clinking around on the table and I thought that might be irritating. Um, so I did a comparison video of those two and then I just did a breakdown video of what's inside of my compact just because there are not as many compact videos out there. So I thought I would do that. But what I did want to show you is because this is compact, I only have one pen and it is um, not a Frixon clickable erasable pen because it does not fit inside of here. Um, it's a regular Paper Mate Ink Joy 100, which I love the way it writes, but it's not erasable and I like that for my calendar. Um, as you can see, uh, I have blue writing in my calendar. Um, and then I do have color coding um, kind of per section, like money is green. Um, other notes are pink because I like pink, but I like my calendar in blue. It just seems really clear and easy to read. But where do you keep all this stuff? So um, being that I'm a student and I'm in school, I just finished my summer semester, so summer vacation is starting for me in, in August. Um, and I'm always on the go. I just came back from traveling to Lake Placid for a competition. I like to have um, my supplies with me, but I'm not toting around an entire case. I wanted something that can fit into my purse or my book bag or my overnight tote um, or just on my desk, something that was easy to deal with because part of what made me fill up my personal file faxes so much was all the extra stuff, which adds weight and I don't need it all the time. So I thought I would get a separate case. Everybody's had those passport travel wallet cases, which I like. The only issue for me is I need my phone cords. I need my chargers with me. I have an iPod, a tablet, and my phone, um, which during school, I basically have all of them running. I'm research thing on my tablets. I'm all over the place. I record my notes on my iPod because um, it has the most memory, um, as well as I take pictures on the go of little things I want to study um, on the fly. So I, I love having my iPod. And my phone um, is a BlackBerry uh, touchscreen bold, BlackBerry 7 um, something or other. And um, I, love, I love it because it simply has some information in it. Um, it's very easy to look at documents and it's easy to make phone calls. It's an email. It simply does that. I don't use it for anything else because I have my iPod. Um, so I, I like having those things separate because then it just seems to work out well. Anyhow, so on to it already. This is this is the cosmetic case I just bought at Staples. Um, it's a cottony fiber, a cottony material, um, really mushy, incredibly lightweight, really, really pretty. Um, there's no black on it. It might look black, but there's no black. It's just a deeper shade of blue. Um, some nice pastels, nice pattern. So size-wise, we're looking at that and that and that. So just so you have an idea of that, um, so I will show you what's inside. I do like the double zipper. So what I have inside of here, I'll get to this pocket in the end. This one, which is see-through, it is attached. Um, I have the cord for my iPod, my tablet, and my phone, and one plug. Um, it's the smallest. It's a BlackBerry little travel plug thing. I do have a flash drive um, USB in here as well for school. So this kind of takes care of all of my electronic stuff. Um, I normally have my headphones in there, but I went for a bike ride this morning and took them out. So I just throw my headphones in there as well. Um, this pocket here, um, I have my hand lotion, chapstick, eye drops, some um, other things that, or even if I wanted to throw in makeup um, for the day, I could. But anything I don't, I like it to be in a more concealed um, case versus having everybody able to see what's inside there in case it's private. So um, that is all my stuff like that. Um, what I guess you'd normally put in a cosmetic case. This is supposed to be for, um, I guess, makeup brushes. So instead, um, I have my, this is from Target a while ago. I got it at the dollar bin. Um, writes so beautifully, primary colors, like that. This is from Bic. Um, this has all of the pastel colors. I do like having a Sharpie because whenever I don't have one, I need one. Um, so I do have a silver Sharpie. I do have a Sharpie highlighter, kind of a skinny one. I like that. This is another Paper Mate Inkjoy 100 pen. 
This is a paper mate Inkjoy 500, um, which this one has the, the grippy tip, but I like this color. A lot of my forms and dittos in school, um, they, when you try to highlight them, they smear because they've just been printed or it just doesn't, I don't know, the paper doesn't absorb it. So for highlighting a lot of times, I use light color bright pens to underline and circle things. So that's a different way to highlight that won't ruin the form. Always have to have a pencil for my um, Scantron tests. Here where I keep my Frixons. Um, so for right now, I do have a purple and a blue. This is for my calendar um, purple, just because I always like having purple. But um, they fit in there wonderfully. So, and it's amazing because it looks thick and full, but when you close it up, it's not. So in this pocket, I keep um, post-its. I like those. Um, I actually like these. I stick them in my book, the sticky stuff's in the middle, and I let this hang out um, almost like a tab. So I write a note on it. It's kind of what the point of that page I'm tabbing off in my textbook. Um, so I like that. And then this is just regular post-its. They do have a little bit of a design. I don't know if you can see it. No, probably not. Okay, anyhow. Um, and then here I do keep some paper. This is the note sheet that I'm putting in between my weeks as well as um, a little bit of lined paper. It's really not a lot. This is what some insert came in, that plastic sleeve that the inserts actually come in. Um, I use that just so I wouldn't bend anything. So instead of keeping a huge amount of extra pages in here, if I need it, it's here. It's not a lot. It's maybe like eight pages in here, but just in case I need them, they're there. Um, so it's my travel version, um, which I like. Getting it in, I have to kind of manipulate it into that because of the zipper, but once it's in, it is good, um, and it's really an expandable piece. So that's got pretty much everything I need to get me through a work day, a school day, um, anything. So when you close it up, it zips up nice and easy. It's, it's not much, I think it weighs less than my file facts. Um, and just to give you an idea size wise, um, this is my current bag. It's a Tumi Slingback, oh, what is the name? Begins with a B, I think, Brive, Brivy, Brive, I don't know. It's on like, Zappos and Amazon and everything. Um, so anyhow, what I do in here, um, I do have a little pen pocket that has my green fricks on at the moment. So anyhow, this fits in there nicely. This slides right in there too. And that's, whoop, there you go. So it actually, um, Pretty slim and trim. It does the job done. It sits over your shoulder, kind of like a backpack. Um, but that's what I'm using right now. So that thing, um, I just went on a, a trip and I was able to throw it kind of like more of a tote, kind of the tote that you um, don't pack away in the trunk, you know, that you have your book, your sunglasses, maybe a little sweatshirt, that kind of tote I had in there. It'll work out perfectly in my backpack for school or if I need to throw it in here, which I don't really have to. I'd probably just put it in my backpack, but it is small enough that it does work for that. Anyhow, that is that. I just thought I would show kind of my accessory pouch and what I was using it for and how in combination stuff. And, um, and it's been really nice, uh, to keep everything. I only really need to carry with me what I use regularly. I do have a box. I've done a storage bin, um, video before that holds a lot of stuff, but again, that's kind of like my collection spa as I use things, but I do not need to carry that much stuff with me. Um, you know, again, the whole point of this is I want everything lightweight, portable, um, you know, mobile, um, and just and functional things that help me get through my day um, and get all my notes down stuff. And this, this combination seems to be working out well for me, um, which I'm really liking the compact Regency more than I thought I would, um, which is exciting. It's always nice to find something new that, um, that's great in the day. Anyhow, that's all. Um, hope that was useful. And that cosmetic case was in the cosmetic department of Target. And I think it was $16.99. And let me just give you that company name. Um, contents. Um, so they had some other shapes and sizes, but this one just seemed to be 
um, the best for me. All right, that's all. I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.